Hey there, good morning. I'm feeling just a little summery, and I know it's not just the weather, but it's some of the things that I wanna show you. And you can see all that I'm talking about at fuzzygoatyarns.com. But let me introduce you to my new bag. Yes, this one is mine. I did keep this one, but we have some more. I know that we just got some other bags. I love those bags, absolutely. I already have those bags. And just like you guys, you know, I can't get enough. This one is a big surprise to me. Um, yes, I ordered them, I knew they were coming, but um, it's even better than I thought it was in person. So they are made by Rochelle in upstate New York in the Finger Lakes, and she designs the bags, and then they're cut and sewn by Work Shelter, which is also a group that we use for our Creed bags. They're a, a group in India that empowers and uh, pays dignified wages. So we're really excited about these bags because they're really squishy. You see that? She calls it a Drey bag, D-R-E-Y, which is kind of a play also on a dry bag, you know, when you think of going kayaking and all those things I did in, a, in another life. But this is another girl-made bag, a Drey, D-R-E-Y. Did you know, I did not know this, that a squirrel's nest is called a Drey. And it's just perfect because we're in the middle of doing lots of Look Squirrel sweaters projects. So this would fit a sweater project, just like our funky fiber bags do also. But it's also for squirreling away multiple projects in there at the same time. It's got this cute lining. I'll show you the other color in just a moment. It's got a zipper on the outside and uh, Rochelle designs the fabric and the whole bag. And I just love that because we're always, we also use uh, squirrel as a verb. We say we're squirreling a lot around here, which means we are having like five conversations at once, but you know, we can do that, right? You guys can do that too. This is the other color we have also, and the inside of that is really rich purple. So I j am just loving these new bags. The fabric is really cool. It's kind of a linen-y, has a nice hand to it. So um, I am, I'm gonna start a new project. I'm gonna talk about that in a minute. I, what I wanna say is to you, let's flip that a little bit. Sometimes we're like, oh, we're getting a new project. We need a new bag. This is the opposite for me. I've got a new bag, and so I'm looking for a project for it. So we'll talk about that shortly. Oh, thank you guys, all you guys for tuning in and saying hello, uh, Karen. And Robin says, should I take account of how many bags I have? No, do not count. And no, you never have enough because they're, they're organizing, right? So some of the things that are making me feel a little summery are, I'm gonna save that best thing there for a little, are some of these small little kits that we've got in because it makes me think of if you have people around that you want to occupy and sometimes we do have those um, come summer, but um, these are wooden bracelet kits. I got two really fun things to show you that come from uh, England right now. Let's see, you know, and they just have such great taste. I had this all ready to go. This one will make 10 bracelets, this kit. Oh, goodness gracious. Um, we have some unicorn, we have some rainbow. Um, let's see, this one's gonna be the store sample because I'm just now ripping into it. Um, and we have oh, some festival ones, unicorns, did I say that already? But look at that, look how sweet that is. This will make 10 bracelets, also big enough for grown-ups as well. Um, I just love it. The designer wanted to come up with something that didn't send uh, people home with more plastic stuff uh, that we don't need. So this is a really beautiful little wooden beads in there and you can make 10 different bracelets. But if you wanted to just make one, we've got this really sweet little tin. And then we have the one with the unicorns in it and then a rainbow one also. I just thought this was a great thing for when you had um, other people around, you wanted to have a gathering, the uh, Sherry's Craft Club at school would love that. So those were uh, something that we got that were really cute from England. And actually, this is where I wanna give a shout out to my mastermind group that I was at a few weeks ago. We get together, I'm always trying to learn new ways to do run a shop and we share some of our favorite items. And this was one of my friend's favorite items. And this other one I'm gonna show you 
is another set of favorite items. So these are super cute. These are, oh my gosh, I can hardly stand it. These are, I call them these matchbook love. And this one says sending you a big fat hedge hug. Okay, so that's cute enough as it is. But then when you open it up, are you ready? Come on out. There's a little felt hedgehog in there. Isn't that the funniest thing? It says, my point is you are amazing. So we have a bunch of different ones. We have this cute little hedgehog. We have uh, use a lovely mummy and it's got a little felted sheep in there. I mean, I can hardly stand it. Um, let's see, what where, where's another one we got here? Um, oh, this one's really sweet too. It's, it's a birthday and it's got like a little bouquet in there. And then there's also some that are little kits. The, this one is love letters and, and this is an actual, oops, this, let me get another one. Um, this is an actual kit. And I just got three of each of these for now to see what you guys think about them. Um, that comes with a little hoop and the embroidery floss and the and the fabric in there. And you can make one letter. It gives you the little chart on the back. You can make one letter and it goes in there. So it's a love letter. Isn't that cute? And then there is another one that is um, a unicorn. And my favorite is a lemon because I'm all about making lemonade out of lemons. And then there is um, a little music box that actually plays. You have to, have to kind of put it together. So yeah. Joanne's asking about the grayish bag. That's the Dre bag, D-R-E-Y, and I'll have the links up shortly. Okay, so these are also what's making me feel like a little summery because these seem like a summery kind of little project or you know, just a cute little house gift when you're going to uh, somebody's house or after you've gone to visit and you're coming back. And then the other thing that's making me feel that way is we got uh, a restock of our hats. Mm -hmm. So we have this, this one happens to be my, uh, my personal favorite until I show you the other one. I love, I love this one. It's a little bit of this <clears throat> wax canvas here and the brown. And I think the logo just looks really great on it. And it says Thomasville on the back. And then the same thing in our um, signature teal. But then we had the idea of da -da, a bucket hat. Isn't that the cutest thing? I'm so excited about it. And we did our logo as a little peach. So it's got the little leaves on it. The yarn looks more peachy and it's got a little point. So look at that. I'm just so excited about our new bucket hats. So those are up online too. And that really makes me feel summery. The scarf that I'm wearing, and I'll tell you about this again, this is called Cherries and it's crocheted. Then I'll tell you a little bit more about that. Uh, we got, Joanne, we got the hats all in one size. They are a large, we thought about that. It was either a small or a large, so we went with the large thinking that if you had your hair in a ponytail, that might still work. Or if you you know, maybe had to put a little fabric in it, you could make it work. But this large would, small would never work for the big headed people like me. Okay, so on Friday nights, when I go around, get all my stuff together to think about what I'm gonna show in the store, Mr. Fuzzy Goat is usually around and he's like, what you gonna talk about? And I told him what I was gonna talk about. And he's like, well, you should really talk about what he's going to say right now because he wanted to come on and share come on over here mike he wanted to share his favorite thing he was feeling a little left out so this is mr fuzzy goat mike and so mike what's your favorite thing in the store uh i love this ori bag by the london bag company and uh we took this on a trip recently and i it can it's, it's kind of like a clown car you can put so many things inside of it uh, I just want to show you. It's got it's got a zipper on the outside, which oh look what I've got in there. I got like airline tickets and hand sanitizer. <laughs> you can put all kinds of things in here. But here's the cool part. Rita's really saying good morning to you. Uh, oh, good morning. <laughs> it, uh, I just want to show you. Uh, I've got I've got an audio book, audio player in here, which is a Kindle. I've got a. a, a big size tom in here i've got a i've got another uh pamphlet that i can write things in 
And this is the cool part. I even had a bag of chips <laughs> in there. So, I mean, and it, it's still not even half full. And there is, there is, a, there is a zipper liner in here also. Uh, on one side that you can put keys and things like that. I'm, thank you for helping me, Candace. <laughs> and then over on this side, you just, you can kind of open this up like this and it's got Velcro on it. And I can pop out things like hand sanitizer or, or all kinds of things in here. And uh, I love this bag. I took it on a trip and, and I, can, I can carry it like this or you can you can put you it you want to zip it up before you do that we, we we can we zip it up and then we use it as a backpack so if i were to stand up i could use this as a backpack and so when you're going through the airport you could use it as a backpack and then the good thing about it is you can get on the plane with it and you can just slide it right up underneath the seat but you got to take out your tome first so you can read Thank you, Mike. Okay. <laughs> he was feeling a little left out. He's like, why aren't you talking about my, my backpack? So the, w those are not necessarily newly arrived, but we do keep them in stock. And the other day, Elaine got one of the medium size. Mike's got the large size. And she came back and um, the next day and said, Keith wants one for work. And she got one of the bigger ones like Mike has there. So... Thank you guys. Thank you, Barbara, for saying you enjoy seeing my other half. Yes, he ke absolutely keeps me going. The joke in our house is, do you want to make dinner or do you want to like figure out payroll and sales tax? And so I do payroll and sales tax. Mike makes dinner. I did that for 30 years and I'm happy to have him do it. Okay, so now let's talk about a project for my new bag. Here's my new bag. Yes, I just dropped the beads. That's what I'll be doing in a little bit. <laughs> Um, so here is my new bag, my new project bag, and I want to make something out of the Jill Draper Lee that I showed you a few weeks ago when we got it in. Lee is a uh, lace weight. It is woolen spun, which we don't, we often don't have a lace weight. It's a combination of Rambouillet wool from upstate New York, which would actually, I didn't think about that, be perfect for my Dre bag and um, an alpaca from Western Massachusetts. It's very lightweight. And I feel like it needs a sample. We, you guys need to see how it'll be knit up, even if you can't feel it, because um, this is so much softer than you might think. Even when you're here and you go to reach for it and you grab it and you're like, because it still has the lanolin in it, it feels really cool and it feels really good on your hands. Um, so I've been looking through some things, and then of course I wanted to use this color, right? It's kind of, or this color, but I felt at first I was like, okay, I've used this just a little bit too much right now, so maybe it needs to be this one. And then I go and put this on and think, okay, Cadence, maybe you need to pick one of these other colors. Uh, so I'll let you guys tell me about that too. Um, I love that Jill uses the far, she knows the name of the farmers in the U.S. so that the people and the animals are well treated and she just uses everything she does to make a better world. So I am wearing cherries, which is one of the options and you would just need one skein because this has 880 yards in it. Super generous. This is crocheted and I uh, made this in Farmer's Daughter Fibers. And I love this scarf. You guys uh, give it lots of love when I wear it. I love the little 60s retro daisies in it. Um, I could always make another one, but it'd be really great to show something else off. I kind of like this one here. This one is called um, Veritas. And I thought, look at that dapper guy. And then there was another dapper guy. And so it, it's at the patterns actually designed um, by a guy and I'm gonna assume he's dapper <laughs> um, the project bag is listed already up there now Joanne it's Dre D-R-E-Y and I'll have a link directly under here shortly but it has all the things I love like lots of stuff going on texture in there see as I'm talking to you this may indeed be it and it would only need one skein in fact I might even be able to get two out of this so that I think that might be my pause is I want to show how you can make something really big out of it so that's one that's one possibility 
Oh, and I'm looking at this green over there, and it is really pretty. We'll just have all our samples will be green. But then I was thinking about like a cardigan made out of this, really lightweight. I would have that squished up in my bag, in my backpack when I'm traveling. Um, and so I really liked Reagan by Isabel Kramer. I like lots of Isabel Kramer patterns. And because of the yardage in this, up to an extra large, you could use just two skeins and make this. This might be the ticket. Um, it's one of those that you can, let's see, um, the pictures don't do it justice, but you can wear it either way. You can wear it um, where it kind of does uh, like a waterfall situation here, or you can wear it where it's pointy, just to, like the sleeves are in the middle of it, if that makes sense. Yeah. Um, so that's a possibility. Another one, um, and I would need two skeins for that. Another one is uh, this one here, the Rosaline scarf, nice and airy, but it's the same shape as this one. So that one doesn't, for me, doesn't intrigue me as much as maybe the Flora, uh, as, as well as the Veritas or Rosaline. Also only needs one skein, but again, similar shape to this and I was kind of thinking maybe doing something, something different. So I'm curious to know which ones you think would be the best and which ones you're thinking of making and which color. Okay, so if I had to take the greens out, which is really hard for me to do, I am kind of liking this tobacco color, and we'll probably wear that a lot. And you know I like a good rust. Also, this one's called Heirloom Tomato. That's really fun. This one here is called Deer Skin. Oh, so hard to say. Kay says the sweater. The shawl I'm wearing, if you were to use this, just one skein, and you could make it with this color here. This one here is called Spark, and you would need just one. Okay, so I'm gonna go put the links up because you guys are asking about those, and I've got to pick up the beads that I dropped on the floor. <laughs> and so, and uh, uh, fluff my hair back up after I take our bucket hat off, but I may not, I may wear this all day long. This is so much fun. You know, that whole thing about cottage core and Nancy Meyer movies and all of that. I just feel like I'm in one now, but we're in Fuzzy Goat. So uh, I'll come back and answer the questions that you guys have here, and I'll put links up too. And thanks for watching and talking with Mr. Fuzzy Goat also.